I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Got no way to prove it, so maybe I'm lying. The establishment protected itself, but not the citizens of our country. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. Take a look in the mirror, what do you see? Do you see it clearer, or are you deceived? In what you believe? Cause I'm only human. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period, both in person and around the globe. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. The false reporting by the media, by you people, the false, horrible, fake reporting makes it much harder to make a deal. Russia is fake news. So proud of him, I really am. She looks good, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she looked out there. Can't wait to spend some of his money. <laughs> <laughs> This is something I worked up for, you know, my whole life. We did this since I, I turned pro 11 months ago. My dream was to, was to bring that belt home, so it's an absolute dream to, uh, to have it. This tribunal is here to establish the truth. Be fager and dog a fur and yal shall. Black can be made into white, but not convincingly. The scale of this is appalling and staggering, and the public will be very concerned at these revelations and the big discrepancy in relation uh, to the million uh, figure. This is a very, very serious issue, and it's a very serious issue that we have to get to the bottom of. I am not trying to hide anything. I was not part of any conspiracy to undermine Sergeant McCabe. Quite the contrary. Grabbed the little girl, got to her first, stuck her under my dressing gown because of the smoke, got my girlfriend up and ran down the stairs.
that building was not fit for purpose. Somewhere along the line, someone made a catastrophic error. At the moment, we're grieving, you know, but there's a bubbling anger underneath. What do you want? We don't want human beings to live in buildings like that. I found joy in the steps on the People know that these are search and rescue crew. These are people that you know put their life on the on the line. Kind of every time they go out to work, um, they they come to areas like this, to villages like this, and they you know they rescue members of our community. So when they get in trouble themselves, the response is huge. I will I remember yeah. being there, and, be, and the first thing I said was Port Leash Girl. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knew? So it could have been so different. Port Leash Girl, Court Girl, Limerick Girl. Like, there was, like, a bunch, and, uh, and like, because I was, like, obviously there's a Steve Earle song going on. I was yeah. like, I can't touch it. Um, yeah. I can't, like, I can't. And it just, it just worked. It just worked. I met her on Grafton Street, right outside of the bar. She shared a cigarette with me while her brother played the guitar. She asked me, what does it mean? The Gaelic King on your arm said it was one of my friend's songs. Do you want to drink on? She took Jamie as a chaser, Jack for the fun. She got Arthur on the table with Johnny riding a shotgun. Chatted some more, one more drink at the bar, then put Van on the jukebox, got up to dance. You know she played her fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an Englishman. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby, I just want to dance with my pretty little girl. in recent years, they finally end up the winners. Jim O'Connor, the goal is for the point, this is on target. The umpire is yes. for his black. One are undoubtedly the best team in the land. I've ended up in many famous places throughout the world, but my heart lies in the bog side. And with the people of Derry, for Mila, Mila Mayorga. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show. I hope you're wearing your best clothes. If you feed a crocodile, they're going to keep coming back and looking for more. See you later, alligator. <laughs> You look pretty good down here, but you ain't really good. We never learned we've been here before. Why are we always stuck and running from? It's a very mixed legacy. Much of it very bad and, and quite unforgivable. The second half, in part, an atonement for what he had done. He expanded the definition of us and shrunk the definition of them. Division in Westminster will risk our ability to make a success of Brexit. So we need a general election and we need one now.
politics has changed and politics isn't going back into the box where it was before. British Prime Minister Theresa May has made the opening moves in negotiations with Northern Ireland's Democratic Unionist Party in an attempt to cling on to power here at the head of a minority government. Including this wide-ranging agreement, we have done so on the basis of advancing the security of our nation, building prosperity for all, and supporting an exit from the European Union that benefits all parts of the United Kingdom. Yeah. I want you yeah, I want you, baby, so, so Seven of them I like because they go really fast and there's rare ones. I can do it on my head and on my king and on my king. So hands. This is my favourite surprise. What? Because it's like an LOL surprise, but for people who, if you stand over there, okay. who want more surprises than anyone else in the world. Like your dad! <laughs> I've been hearing symphonies before all I heard was silent. There are really powerful gusts of wind here, and the worst of the winds are yet to come. Life was stringing me along. Absolutely desperate today. She's so never seen anything like it. It's crazy. It's frightening. Solo singing on my own. Now I can't find a key without you. And now your song is on The band of Galway Hurlers now on two points. Listen to the roar of the Galway fans. Here's Blake. Here's a point. Galway are the Ireland champions 2017. Can you believe it? And now you saw. This is Tony Hayes. That was a hefty challenge. Oh, holy dear. He had no choice. Killian O'Connor with a match level at 116 to 116. It's on the way, I think. Is it off the post? Six minutes into stoppage time. A free kick to win the All Ireland. Rock kicking up into the air. And over the bar. And Dublin are again the champions. The three. It is perhaps the most acute crisis facing Ireland today. Why can't we house our own people? There are many facets to this problem. There are the rough sleepers in doorways and parks. 
and sleeping on the streets throughout our cities. And then there are the families with children living in hotels, B&Bs and emergency accommodation, many of whom have been pushed into homelessness by rising rents. I never thought I'd feel this weak or Just know it's gonna pass. I hope and pray that it won't last. We need the government to declare a national emergency and get everybody around the table with a sense of urgency about addressing this problem. has a duty of care on everybody. And this goes far beyond Apollo House. Apollo House lit a spark. It lit a spark of hope. And that hope is going to be carried forward. It was just so scared. I didn't. I saw saw the knife and didn't turn around again. I just ran. But now I'm hiding out of time. What's going on? I used to sing my morning song But I just know if I hang in With the morning songbirds I will sing I'm conscious that it's not red, it's not blue, it's not Sikh, it's not Muslim, it's not Christian Everyone's Mancunian, and I've genuinely never been prouder of my city today. We need to show solidarity with people when things like this do happen, and show that there is love where other people would spread hate. We are searchlights, we can see in the dark. We are rockets pointed up at the stars. And there's always been kind of this awkwardness around it or hesitation with people to speak about it. This is really cleansing. And you sold us down the river too far. What about us? What about all the times you said you were the answer? What about us? What happened to me behind the scenes happens to all of us in this society, and that cannot stand, and it will not stand. We are pure, we are strong, we are brave, and we will fight. Sticks and stones, they may break these bones, but then I'll be ready. Are you ready? It still feels like a dream. This is the moment I've waited for for four years. You know, a free man. I committed that for four years. I'm back into a new world. I was taken away from. I was taken away from life, and then one second you're back. It's going to be hard to recover.
I decided it was better to run than die. They burnt down all our homes. Even when we were in the mountains, the military were firing at us and killing us. The security forces have been instructed to take full measures to avoid collateral damage and the harming of innocent civilians. Aung San Suu Kyi was extravagantly welcomed uh, to this city and I participated in that. I sang to her and spoke of her and raised her up on our hosannas and it turned out that she's a killer. Congratulations on your great victory. We have so many people from Ireland in this country. I know so many of them, too. I feel I know all of them. Well, we have a lot of your Irish press watching us. They're just now leaving the room. <laughs> and, and where are you from? Go ahead. Come here. Come here. Where are you from? We have all of this beautiful Irish press. Where are you uh, from? I'm from RTE News. The RTE. Taoiseach will know me. It's oh, Katrina Perry here. Taoiseach. Katrina Perry. She has a nice smile on her face. So I bet she treats you well. <laughs> Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? This has never been about me. It has always been, I can't call it, about the problems and the challenges that our people in our country face. Whatever comes, comes to clear. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? Put some spotlight. We'd be the party that represents those who get up early in the morning, who work hard. I get up in the morning too and go for a 5k run every now and again. I think if my election as leader of Fine Gael today has shown anything, it is that prejudice has no hold in this republic. Origin doctor and Ireland's first openly gay minister, Leo Vardakar, is all set to become the country's prime minister. Put that spotlight on her face. We gon' pipe up and turn up. We gon' light up and burn up. Mama too hot like a like what? Mama too hot like a furnace. What, what an amazing country. And the, the, you know, people think Ireland is so conservative. We have a gay t shirt. Yeah. An open, now, it's not that long ago here, we weren't allowed to be left handed. So. <laughs> that's how far. That's a big leap. That's how far we've come. <laughs> 